What is going on, everybody? DJ Minds here. Hope you're having a good day. I think at the making of this video, we're about five days away for the Ethereum merge. Let me know if you're watching this after the Ethereum merge. That'd be really interesting to see if this held up or if everything has changed in the future. I have to say, as someone who has been using Ergo for like maybe four days, Ergo is definitely one of my favorite coins. I would say if I had to take a gamble on a top three coins that I think will be successful after the Ethereum merge, it would certainly be in no specific order. Ergo Ergo, Flux, and Ethereum Classic. I'm not a huge fan of Ethereum Classic, but I still do think it'll do very well because there's so many ASICs, there's so much money involved in Ethereum Classic. I think it'll still do well simply because of money. So here's a snapshot of the farm that I'll be using today. It has 113 graphics cards, and I'd say roughly 60% of that is on Ergo right now. So yeah, I have uh, 2060, I don't know, 2080, 2080 Supers. I've got pretty much all the 30 series cards that I'll be showing you except for 3080 Ti and 3090 Ti. So other than that, you're pretty much going to see a lot of different cards, and I'll try to show you as many of those as I possibly can. A quick disclaimer, I'm sure that there are better overclocks out there, but I do think this will help someone out there there's some little Timmy out there that is, is frustrated or having difficulties finding decent overclocks at low wattage because for me it's more important to be efficient than to get the most hash rate at least in this market if we were in a bull market I'd be like dude let's shoot it all the way to the sky all the way to the moon let's push these cards but for me I would rather you know do maybe 90% of what the card can do sometimes 95% of what the card can do as long as I get that efficiency better and that wattage lower because we don't know what's going to be the next big coin or the next most profitable coin. All right, so first let's start with AMD since I only have a few octo miners of this and the 6600 XTs, a very good card getting about 63 mega hash and 56 watts on this one, 49 watts on this one, all the same overclocks on the core. I did 1150 on the memory, 1150, the VDD and the MVDD. Honestly, these are the exact same overclocks that I was using for Ethereum and it seems to be decent according to what to mine the 6600 XT. If you can see right here, the only blue one should be getting roughly 62 mega hash at about 80 watts and yeah so according to hive i am getting over 62 mega hash on most of these and hey it's at 50 watts 60 watts amd always kind of lies though to be honest with you on the software so take it with a grain of salt but i'm sure it's under what what to mine is saying so yeah that's the overclocks for that on the 5700 xt the core is a little bit different here for me this is 1025 on the core memory is 925 and we're getting just shy of 95 mega hash now this does go up and down because of the algorithm so yeah I mean, maybe I am hitting 95 a lot of the times, but 82 watts on the software, maybe it's a little bit more. Not bad at all, in my opinion. And I have to say, my Octominer is loving it. The fans are much cooler than they used to be, and I have no complaints, whatever, so far with the 6600 XT or 5700 XT. Here's another Octominer. This one is all 5700 XTs. Feel free to pause the video if you need to see anything. I have the fans set to auto minimum of 60%. Maybe I'll even lower that, but yes, absolutely the room is cooler running ergo i love everything about it man all the memory temps mwah, beautiful on ethereum the same setup man it was at least 10 to 15 degrees warmer loving everything about it man the 5700 xt's ranging from 94 95 and yeah the lowest i'm getting is 91 mega hash and the core same here 1025 we got 880 on the memory and i had to change a couple of these here and there for ethereum and like i said i didn't really have to change anything when i came over over to ergo could i tweak out a little bit more mega hash here and there absolutely i haven't had a lot of time but that's what's working really well for me and you'll see same thing man the algorithm goes up and down it just kind of adjust every now and then also because of hive os also note that all of my amd cards are using team red miner now this is a 5700 xt rig just like the last one however this one's a little bit higher wattage and then also i'm getting more mega hash so i'm kind of experimenting still with that you can see the core is much higher here and it's still been working fine with me 1350 at 94 watts on the software and then 890 memory if you want to see any of the middle stuff there it is but yes higher wattage some people are into that man some people really like pushing their card and uh, yeah higher rewards on that so really up to you what you like there all right, now to talk about the NVIDIA cards. I will get to the 20 series cards in a bit, but let's start off with probably what most of you are going to be using. 3060s, these are all LHR. Not that that really matters, but I just wanted to point it out. 
all of my 3060s are running at just 100 watts man very solid cards they're pretty much all getting 120 some 121 mega hash i mean to me that is extremely efficient you're almost seeing a one-to-one -one. you're actually getting more mega hash than you are in your watts and if you're new to this if you just started gpu mining yeah originally on ethereum you would get about half of what you're getting on ergo so it is pretty cool seeing these numbers but it's gonna take a while for a lot of us to get used to that's at zero core and 2100 on the memory i've experimented with 2000 i've experimented with 1500 you know i think the 2100 is pretty solid i might end up pushing these up maybe even to 2400 because i think i had around 24 2700 on a lot of my 3060s great but the most important thing for me this is very efficient 100 on the power limit it doesn't get much better than that the version for this is 510.60.02 the RTX A4000, I am loving this. Just 110 watts, man. Extremely efficient at 3000 on the memory. I could probably push this to 3300, just like I did with Ethereum. But wow, man, 110 watts, 141 on the mega hash. It doesn't get much better than that. Yes, we could probably push it to 150, but I just love that 110 number. You have no complaints at all with the A4000. The 3070, this is one of my test bench. Oh my goodness, great card, just like the A4000. Now look, same thing, 110 watts, only 50 on the core, 1000 memory. I've been playing around with this and I could have adjusted this. I wanna be clear, I could have shown you this MSI at probably 150, 160, but I wanted to show you the difference in something that I've noticed. These Zotec cards, at least my Zotec cards that's on my 3060 Ti's and my 3070s are extremely impressive. Maybe it's the version of Samsung memory they're using. I don't know. But you can see both of these are Samsung and only one of them is going over 150. In fact, this one's just getting 130 mega hash, both of them being Samsung. But look here at the numbers, okay? This is something small. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's kind of a theory I have on the memory version 40.67 and the msi ventus is using version 40.63 does that have anything to do with it i don't know is the tdp higher on this one absolutely it is by 22 watts so maybe the 3070 zotex are pretty good because they have been very good in my experience and again hey 110 watts well over 150 mega hash cannot complain on the 3070s whatsoever this next rig i'm experimenting with just 100 on the power limit here so 10 watts less and 20 watts less than some of my other rigs again just figuring out what is the absolute lose best for each specific card and i would say 100 is really good if you're trying to save money though i think the extra 10 mega hash probably is worth it for most people so i would probably you know recommend going to 110 power limit and then trying out higher memory and I do think we probably could get closer to that 150 range. So yeah, you know what? Maybe 105 is the sweet spot. Still experimenting. All these 3070s were originally non-LHR and most of them are EVGA for the win three. And there's a couple MSIs. Hopefully that helps you out with your cards and finding the specific memory that you're using. Here's my first ever Octo Miner. This baby's getting over two giga hash, man. This thing is an absolute animal gdr 6x incredible almost all of my 3080s are getting 200 mega hash i can certainly get these to 220 mega hash however i'd have to raise the wattage i'd have to raise a couple of things and i'm experimenting different things with gdr 6x as opposed to 6 so this is not the final but i do think it'll get you where you want to be 174 watts this one's only using 164 watts i mean this one's just using 159 watts for me, that is massive, guys. This is uh, honestly mind-boggling because before on Ethereum, I was using anywhere from 230 to 240 watts. I mean, come on, 160 watts. That is such a big difference. What, 80 watts or something? So yeah, wow, man. And in some cases, 70 plus on every single one. Absolutely stunning. Again, I do sacrifice a little bit of mega hash. I'm shy of that 200 mark. But for me, man, to run my watch this low and to get anywhere near 200, is a huge w you can experiment with these cores and memory the way i am i have i have tried a couple different things 1100 and 2200 you know 1200 on the core 2400 on the memory i'm noticing with the gdr 6x at least from my testing so far some core does seem to help as opposed to zero core like some of my other cards are doing just fine on zero core a lot of these gdr 6x do benefit greatly in my experience from adding to the core kind of like ethereum did and a lot of these aren't really that different to be honest with you from the ethereum hash rates i would say if you're going to switch over to ergo give your ethereum hash rates a shot 
if it works awesome if it doesn't i mean hey it doesn't hurt to dial it down but really a lot of the times you can just kind of swap over see if that's the best thing for you check it out for other youtubers of what they're getting and also compare it to what to mine here you're also going to see my a4000s absolutely destroying the game loving this 110 watts zero on the memory 30 100 on the power limit could you ask for anything better than that man 141 mega has it's crazy all of them are getting the exact same number in fact 141.4 mega hash and that doesn't matter if it was 3100 or 2800 on the memory you're seeing the pattern here man the a4000 is an animal though i would still go for the 3070 but 110 watts i really can't complain and finally i'm going to show you some of the 20 series cards that i have on ergo i actually just realized i don't have any 3090s on ergo unfortunately so sorry if you're looking for a 3090 this 2060 is awful let me tell you it's not because the 2060 is awful it's because i got the 12 gigabyte version you guys remember when they came out with that and it was oh my god you know nvidia was being crazy about that last year i ended up testing it just to make some videos on it was terrible on ethereum and guess what it's terrible on ergo as well so please don't buy the 12 gigabyte version like me so so yeah the 2060 just 40 mega has man and i cannot get this thing to go under 125 on the power limit it refuses to accept it very annoying card to deal with it crashes if i add on the core it crashes if i go over like 1200 maybe it's just this card maybe this card is just terrible i don't know what it is man but the 2060 for me has been terrible the 2080 getting 61 mega hash at 120 watts zero on the core 1900 on the memory not very impressive there man Man, I definitely would not be shooting for the 2080, but hey, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my overclocks. I really don't want to go over 120 watts. Maybe I'll just sell this card or actually probably be better on flux now that I think about it. So yeah, that's the only 20 series cards that I have mining ergo right now. So I hope you found this video useful or helpful or beneficial. Feel free to correct me on certain things. I am still open to it. I'm not saying that these are the best overclocks on planet Earth. What I am saying is they're best so far in my testing because it's still new to me. It's still new to probably 80 to 90% of the population of people overclocking. And we need more people to put data out there. Please do join my Discord, man. If you find something better, share it with the community, man. Like this video, consider subscribing. Keep mining and uh, always please just help one another and let's figure out Ergo. My next video, which should be coming probably a day after this one or maybe two days after this one, is going to be Flux Overclocks. And if there's anything else you want to see me test out and show all of you, do let me know in the comment section below. I love every single one of you and I hope you have a great day. DJ Mind, signing out.